Hi, MPA kids. It's Mrs. Egan. We're going to try a second project. This is graffiti art. And I am going to show you how to make a background that looks like it's been painted on a brick wall. And I'm just going to run through how to make bubble letters. Might be your first name, might be your last name, but this is what the start is. I'm going to take the name off here so I can show you how I did the background. I had a black piece of paper and I squiggled mostly white paint with a little bit of black and then I took the sponge and I did a stamping process where I just stamped one at a time. Try and uh, get your second row to be in between two blocks and just go all the way down to the bottom. Once you finish the background, you're going to set this aside and you can refer to some drawing sheets that I put up there for you, but I'm going to show you how to make some bubble letters. <clears throat> this is my grandson's name, so I, I, that's what I tried first. Um, this should be done in pencil because you're, you're going to want to erase the lines inside, but just for you to be able to see this, I'm going to do it with the Sharpie. So you just print out whatever name you're doing, and then for the bubble part of it, you want to stay, you don't want this bubble part to touch the inside line. So you're going to squiggle around it and go outside of it, and it's just a wiggly rounded line. Then you do the same for each of the letters, and then you do in between here. Okay. Um, if you did it in pencil, this would be the time now that you would erase all these inside lines. Then I took my crayons out, could be crayons. Um, you're going to pick colors that are complementary, that are near each other on the color wheel. And then you're going to do like a, gr a gradation, it's called, where you go from blue to green, and then you can rub in between to kind of blend those colors. So you would pick out three colors for each letter and uh, blend each one. Once I finished coloring it, then I cut out around here. You can either back it on a piece of colored paper or you could put it just like this onto your, um, your graffiti wall. So have some fun with it. 